Hey everyone, uh, Nick Smith here at Newmont College of Computer Science. Uh, I'm here today to bring you the unboxing of the laptop that the upcoming cohort uh, is going to be getting, the Lenovo ThinkPad P1. Uh, this is a brand new machine that Lenovo just put out. Uh, we actually ordered these three days after they were announced to the public and I'm going to do an unboxing here and kind of show you guys what it looks like. It's got a pretty cool packaging um, and so I'm going to go over all this with you and just show you what everything is going to come with. First we're going to start with unboxing the laptop uh, and then we'll just kind of go over some of the extra components it will come with um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So pretty cool box. Um, it's, it's air sealed so I'm going to put this, actually let's just do this, like this, okay, um, it's going to have this plastic packaging in it and we're going to go ahead and just pull it out, okay, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to peel this off here, it's going to kind of fall apart, okay, we're going to get this out of the way. this out of here. All right, so the laptop at initial glance you can tell is really thin. Um, I believe it's 3.8 pounds or four pound, you know, roughly four pounds. It's real small. Um, ThinkPads are basically like one of their biggest trademarks is to be super durable. So not only is it real small and real light, but it's also going to be really durable. Um, and it's it's pretty smooth. It's, it's it's a matte coloring, so it's not it's not that high gloss that a lot of laptops have today. So it's a pretty it's a pretty smooth look. Um, like I said, real small. This is going to be a 15 inch screen, so um, bigger than some of the previous cohorts. But you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like um, like this. And it's real clean, you know, real real minimal. Um, Lenovo is a big fan of minimal design, and so we see a lot of that here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take out the extra components here. Um, it's going to be the power adapter that's going to come with these laptops. I'm going to take this guy out here and there's one more piece here. Okay. Um, and in this box we have uh, another component. So each of these machines is going to come with a special uh, Ethernet adapter. This is a proprietary component that will go with these uh, Lenovo laptops. This will be so that you can connect directly into an Ethernet line. Um, this will be really important for any of you students that go into IS uh, here at Newmont because you'll be connecting to servers and all kinds of different machines, networks, switches, all of those things and it'll be super handy to have a direct connect to those devices. So everybody will get one of those. Um, this is something you definitely won't want to lose. Uh, so there's that and then we're also just going to pull out the power adapter here. A lot of times people are really curious about the size of the power adapter, how hot it gets. Um, mostly, mostly the size. Uh, this guy's pretty, it's not too big, it's not too bad. It's pretty, I'd say about medium range in terms of AC adapters. Um, we've definitely had larger, we've had smaller. Um, this is just the size that it comes with. It has its own proprietary plug, so this won't work for any other devices. Uh, and then it has your standard uh, connections into your wall outlet. So every laptop will have uh, the power adapter, the ethernet adapter, the laptop itself, and then we'll also be including a backpack and a USB-C, uh, I believe 32 gig USB um, with, with, with your whole package. So uh, those are the extra things that the, that the laptop will come with. So we'll just kind of leave those over here. Um, so this model is brand new and it has some pretty interesting technology in it. The P1 series is, I believe, one of the first, if not the first, um, laptops to use to have a hexa-core processor. Uh, so this is a, an Intel 8850 uh, hexa-core processor, which means it has six physical cores, which means 12 logical cores. Uh, and that's super cool for a lot of different reasons, a lot of computing power. When it comes to IS, again, when you're using virtual machines and kind of divvying up your resources, having 12 logical processors will make running virtual machines really easy. This comes with 32 gigs of DDR4 memory. So you're going to have a ton of memory with this. You're going to have a ton of processing power. And so it's a really robust machine. Uh, and so 
as in addition to the, um, the the computing power and the the, the general size, it's also going to come with a NVIDIA Quadro P2000 card, which is going to have um, five gigs of DDR5 uh, virtual memory, which is really good. Uh, it is important to note that the Quadro series is different from the GeForce series. The Quadro series is designed more for um, enterprise level projects, a lot of things like game development utilizes the Quadro cards more, AutoCAD, stuff like that. So that particular model of graphics card will really benefit you here at Newmont. I'm um, going to give you some really strong options when you're, if you're in the game design program and you're working with Maya or you're doing anything in Unity that requires a lot of processing power, this machine is going to do that uh, great as well as just your general um, resource requirements for things like Visual Studio. Uh, any other IDEs that you might end up using. So the ThinkPad uh, comes, like as I mentioned, with a 15-inch screen. This is a 15-inch uh, Full HD 1080p screen. Um, so it's a pretty good size, a lot of real estate here. Um, and you'll notice that the, 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 it has the island keyboard, so it's got the chiclet keys and a really nice um, trackpad here. Multi-touch, so two, three-point touch here on these. Um, so, you know, really great machine, all those standard features that you're used to uh, in basically any laptop, they've got that here. Um, so real sleek design, again, it, it's the matte finish all over, you know, so it's a little, it's a little different than the kind of the glossy look that um, a lot of the, the current consumer models have. But it's real clean, real good, real good look here, again, really light. Um, these are obviously backlit keys, uh, so when you're having to do those coding programs at 3 a.m., you'll at least be able to see what you're typing. So this laptop is going to have uh, a bevy of ports that you're going to be used to seeing on any modern laptop. Uh, so we're going to kind of go over those right now. Um, so you're going to have the proprietary power port here, so this is unique to Lenovo. Uh, you're going to have two USB-C uh, ports here, as you know, USB-C is a lot more prevalent now than a lot of the other standards. You have your HDMI out here, so you can connect this port to your monitor or to a TV or a projector, and you'll be able to duplicate or extend your screens. Uh, that's super important here. Here is that other proprietary port for your Ethernet adapter. That's going to be what you plug into to get your internet into your machine through Ethernet. And then we have the standard um, headphone jack here. Uh, that's a pretty popular hit, uh, despite Apple's decisions to remove it. Um, so we're also going to go on the other side here. We're going to have the um, uh, USB 3.0 ports here. Uh, this guy's got a little battery uh, adapter here. That means that it, it provides power to uh, USB devices. So anything that needs to charge via a USB charging cable, this is going to be a port that you'll use. And then just a second port here, it's all super speed, so no more 2.0 USB ports. Uh, and then there's an SD card slot here. Um, and a lot of students like the SD card slot. There's any number, extra storage, extra fast storage. Um, a lot of students use it for the virtual machines for um, just really fast accessible storage. Uh, and then there's an extra expansion bay card slot here. Um, that has that uh, ThinkPad has some proprietary um, devices that you can plug in there. Uh, like a network card for like a 3G or 4G mobile provider. So those are the ports on the machine. Okay, and so with the ports on the machine, um, I can show, show you real quick kind of what we're talking about with the proprietary stuff here. Um, so with the Ethernet adapter here, that's going to plug into this guy right here. And so then you'll connect your Ethernet line uh, into here, and that'll connect to the machine, and then you'll be able to use your uh, Ethernet to connect to switches and routers and firewalls. Uh, and then you have your power adapter, again, another proprietary port. So we're just going to go ahead and just show, kind of show you guys this goes in over here. Um, and then there is plenty of room um, in a normal like table setup. There's, there's definitely plenty of room for your USBs here. So unless you have a really large or wide USB, a lot of the custom ones can be a little bit wide. But most normal, you'll be able to get two of the USB-C um, uh, 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 devices in there. And then, again, even with all of those, you should still be able to have no problem getting an HDMI out. And none of this in your headphone jack, again, none of this is touching, so you're not going to have any weird clutter issues. And so it's pretty well designed, evenly spaced out. 
um, and, and should work uh, pretty great. There's going to be a few th extra things that w I want to go over here. Um, with a machine this small, it's going to come with uh, some pretty interesting um, cooling options. So this is going to have a bunch of fans, small um, fans that are going to be here on the bottom side. Um, and so this is going to be your cold air intake here through the bottom. So it's going to pull cold air in through the bottom. And then the heat is going to come out through these vents here and exit the machine that way. Um, so it's a really efficient system. It's, it's very minimal and isn't exactly, it's not loud or anything like some of the other machines can be. So it's real quiet. It's real powerful. Um, and honestly, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty awesome machine. Um, it, it's going to be, it's different than anything that we've ever done before. Um, we, this is a brand, like brand, brand new machine. We don't normally go with like cutting edge right off the, right off the assembly line type machines, but we feel that this is kind of the next step forward and we're really excited to see what you guys think. Um, I personally think this is an awesome machine. A couple of other things that this laptop has um, that's Im important to mention, that this machine has a 512 M.2 PCIe uh, hard drive, which is, a, which is one of the fastest hard drives you can currently get on the market. Um, it's connected directly to the motherboard, super fast. Um, and actually these can raid two hard drives. So if you have another hard drive, we will actually, you will be able to raid it and get even more storage or some redundancy out of your storage, uh, which is really cool. This also has AC wireless, which is kind of to be expected of, of laptops nowadays. Um, so it's a two by two AC wireless. Um, and so really fast machine. We have AC wireless here at the school. So you'll have really fast download speeds um, and really reliable connections with the two by two antenna system here, um, which is really great because you'll be moving around a lot and wireless is one of the big, uh, big things students here utilize a, a whole lot. So that's pretty cool. All pretty much high end stuff. Like there's not much on the market now in terms of better, faster equipment that you're going to be able to find that isn't in this machine, uh, which is pretty cool. Being on the cutting edge of technology is really, is really great. It's something that we're really strong with here at Newmont. And this will be able to last you three years, no problem. Um, and with that, the three years you'll be here, these machines will actually come with a four year ADP or accidental damage protection warranty um, that the school will help you utilize if anything happens to this machine. And as far as Lenovo is concerned, their warranty system is one of, if not the best warranty system, hands down. So one of the nice things that Newmont uh, does for students is that the IT office has a support window uh, and various different forms of support so that if something does happen to this really awesome machine, you know, after you get here or during your time here, you can come into my office or to the student IT window and we will take care of all the, the service you need for it. We'll get you repaired up and, and fixed and ready to go and make sure that you aren't out of machine for any homework or any downtime or anything like that. Can't wait to see you guys when you all get here in the fall. Um, it's, it's an exciting time. I think this is a great machine. Uh, I think you guys should really look forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun and can't wait to see you guys when you get here uh, in September.